Welcome back to the channel. Today, we have the show match of the Solo Master Series between these 10 players going at it, one attack each, and you will see all of their webcams. And tomorrow is the Marnal versus Stars War for the Grand Finals. $400 on the line for the winner. Either $300, whoever wins the war, and then $100 to whoever comes in with the most creative attack. And Stars already has $400 won in the Solo Master Series. And Marno has $300. So one of them could take go. Well, Stars could take over $800 if he takes everything in the grand finals. But I did want to mention here in the show match that there was a few audio problems. So you may hear my mic crackling and whatnot. So I do want to apologize for that. My computer is going bad. I do need to get a new computer. So I am, I am sorry about that. So I did want to make sure you guys knew if you want to mute the audio or whatever you can still see the reactions and everything but also on my second channel i did release another town hall 12 video with some yeti smash so go check that out the link will be down in the video description but anyways let's get in today's show match of these pro players first attack is in serial killer good luck coming in on ways base and serial killer is coming in with the Zap dragons here. Okay, we've got ourselves some zap. Wait, he's got zap drag bat. Okay, he's got a light. He's got lightning spell. He's got bat spells. He's got a mix of it all. What is the play? Using the queen off to the right to help grab an inferno tower. Royal champion to help grab the multi on at six o'clock. RC's ability goes off. Skips across. Uses the invisibility spell to grab this multi. Queen's ability goes off here. Pulls out the Lava Hound Ice Golem. Queen's ability. Can she grab this multi target Inferno? Oh no, she does not. It's getting repaired here. In Way's base hold. Sends in the blimp here for the tunnel. We got four ground expos. Pulls a double seeking air mine. But he's gonna make another Seeking Air Mine right here. And the Town Hall is going to go down. He uses the Dragon off to the left. He has to move this Hound and Ice Golem. And uses some... He uses use the Lightning already. There's some Balloons sitting. Dragon around with another... With Balloons up top into the air defenses. And he's got Dragons around. He's got seven Bats still to use. No Freezes in the, this Drag Bat. And he's going to be pushing his way through. Pops that Grand Warden ability. He's getting through the Eagle Shots. Dragons are splitting off here. He uses the bats onto one scatter at the bottom side. Pulls some red air bombs. He's got bats potentially for the other scatter shot. Not yet. Oh, the scatter shot drops the bats now. But the multi-target Inferno is still standing. Which the Queen was supposed to take that out. If only the... Queen took that multi down, then potentially the bats could have been able to get this, but the dragons are pushing their way off around the edge, now moving the Hound Ice Golem. But unfortunately, Serial Killer is not able to get this one here. The Queen not stepping in for that multi target Inferno. Oh man. Nice try. There's the Ice, ice Golem popping. He does have to deal with this Hound. He's got 30 seconds left here. Oh, there's the hound popping. He's got minions up and around. And he's got only in the 80%. Queen, why did you not grab that multi-target Inferno? Oh, man. Eight seconds. Serial Killer is going to be falling short here. Very nice try. Imagine if he was able to get the bats in. He could have been able to help get that one. But there it is. 82% for Serial Killer. Nice try. Way is in. Good luck to Way. All right. Way is coming in. Oh, he's got himself some super Valkyries. He's got five healers coming in on Serial Killer's base. Uses the invisibility. Rage is using the blizzard. Looks like some super wizards. Another invis is down. Taking out the enemy queen. Potentially skips through. No, not yet. Targeting her. Oh, wait. One more. 
And yes, he kills off the queen right there. But pulls out some headhunters. Off to the queen, off on the left side. He's got one yeti, two hogs, six super valkyries. There's the healers onto the queen, poisoning the clan castle here. We got the yeti down south with an archer on the mortar. With the balloon, it should be going down. We got three multi-target infernos down here. Yeti is tanking this ground expo. Where's this queen? Will she loop her way in? No, she's not looping her way into the scatter chest. So he's going to have to super wall break her in to get into this compartment. There it is. Now the queen can be able to step in towards the scatter and the king. Wizard down south at six. He can grab this air defense all by himself. This air defense on the top side ha is staying up here. So he's going to rely on this queen charge into the base. Drops the headhunter, super wall break his way in towards the eagle artillery and the multi-target infernos. There's three multi-target. If he can keep this queen alive through this section, he can get some incredible value. There's a red air bomb. Royal champion now grabbing this multi on the top side. Here comes the king. He's going to potentially push his way in towards the town hall. He's still got the grant. Where's Oh, the grand war and the super velks are coming into the town hall on the top side. Queen's ability has already gone off. The multi is going down. There's the jump past the town hall. Tornado trap. He's already... Wait. Nope. There's the warden ability. 500 skeletons have come through. But the Valkyries absolutely crushed those skeletons. And now he's got the royal champion. He's going to jump his way past the town hall. Pushing his way through. The town hall giga poison uses... Oh! There's the rage spell from the Valks. King's ability goes off. He's still got the royal champion ability. Way coming in with the super Valks. Coming in from no way of Nova when he was on Nova, but now he's on Darkest Muzan, crushing this one. GG. Wow, what a nice attack coming in from way. GG. Beautiful. Super Valkyrie. Yes, way getting it done right there on Serial Killer's base. Wow. We have Rainberry now in. Going at it. All right. We've got 16 sneaky goblins here. Uses the super wall breaker into the town hall. Rainberry is at the bottom left of your screen. Playing on his phone. What can he do? Pulls out the Lava Hound Ice Golem. Oh my goodness. He's got all these sneaky gobs. He's got four healers. He's got a skeleton. Six bats. Oh my goodness. Rainberry, what are you doing here? All right, there's the sneaky gobs. He could use the invisibility spell. If you, yep, there's the invis. Okay, they get pushed into the town hall. All right, Rainberry. Uses Super Wall Breaker up top toward the Eagle Artillery. The Queen's going to be looking to help charge her way into there. Six bats. What are we going to look to drop the bats on? What will it be? All right. The poison is down. Rages up the Queen here through the Lava Pups. She's going to hopefully charge her way towards this Eagle. There's the Balloon. The test for seeking air mines. He's going to charge this queen in through three ground expos. The scatter shot is now hitting this queen. She's going to have to deal with the eagle artillery. There's the multi-target inferno in the core. He's got a super wall breaker, which opens the compartment near the scatter shot. Not into the multi, though. He, pop he drops the, balloon the balloons onto the wizard tower. The queen goes down. The queen was not able to continue her charge into the base. He still got two ice golems. Hey, he drops them right next to the king. The healers transfer off, but they're going to get picked off by the defending queen. The king and the yak are beating through the wall. The warden, some headhunters, the royal champion are all coming in off on the right side. He pops the warden ability through these double giant bombs here. Headhunters taking care of the queen. And now they're going to be working on to the enemy king. He's coming through around. Here's the blimp on the bottom side, multi-target inferno. He could drop the bats on the scatter shot over here. Send some hogs. There's like 500 different phases of this attack. There's the bats onto the scatter now. But that multi-target inferno was in the court. But the Royal Champion's making her way there to help clear it. This wizard tower is still standing down here. He's got two free spells. 
He uses the freeze on the multi in the core. The problem is the world champion wasn't able to clear it in time. He pops the RC ability. He clears it now. He can drop this freeze for this bottom wizard tower. These bats are charging their way around. The ice golem's actually perfectly tanking. He's only got 23 seconds left. Can he get this? Is this going to be time from Rainberry? 15 seconds left. What? The bats are going to push their way around. He's going to have to freeze this wizard tower, but it's going to be a time fail. It is going to be a time fail from Rainberry. Oh, no. So close. What a nice try. 94% right there. Now we have Young Hung coming in. What does he got here? He's got four lightning, 27 loons. Okay. He's got the blimp as well. He's looking to take down Nebrax's base. What is the plan, Young Hung? Of a Tang. He's got the earthquakes over by the multi target inferno. There it is. He's got the royal champion coming in here as well, in towards the scatter shot. He's going to try to charge this royal champion into here to help grab this. There, the lightning already went down, uses the invisibility. It skips back to the air defense. Doesn't skip onto the multi. Was he planning on it for to skip to the multi-target inferno? She dies off to the king. And what is he doing here? The king's going to push his way into the town hall. Now the king's running up and around here. The queen is going to follow this king in towards here and try to get this value. The super wall breaker walks off to the right side of the base. Doesn't get any value. Three ground skeletons come up to protect this town hall area but down goes the skelly super quick due to the splash damage of the yak and the queen's trying to charge her way into the town hall pops this king ability town hall should be going down headhunters are coming out the town hall is gone the town hall poison effect is going to shred through this queen here pops that queen ability there's the poison spell the lava hound the pups come through he drops a balloon onto the cannon down south. It looks like he's going to drop the blimp in towards the multi and the royal champion. Rages it up. Valkyries get sprung. Will the Yeti be able to help take down the royal champion? And yes, the royal champion does go down here. Skellies cut are coming across to the queen. But the queen has died off. The unicorn pushing off to the balloon. But the unicorn is going to die. Here comes the Lalo from 6 o'clock to push his way down. Lava Hound coming from the left. Pulling some red air bombs. Hounds cut across all the way through the base. The splash, uh, the red air bombs will probably be littered in the core. Yes, they are right by the multi-target inferno. He's got 57 seconds left. He's going to pop the warden ability. Headhunter is going to be working onto the queen. Balloons push their way into the scatter shot. He's still got three freezes to use, but he's got a multi-target inferno still standing on the backside of the base. Two balloons coming in on the top, but the scatter does. No, he misses the scatter. It doesn't go down. And Nebrox's base is going to be holding against Young Hung right here. Trying to take out this air defense up top. Balloons pushing their way around. 27 seconds. Nice try. Missed that scatter shot right there. And was not able to get it. The Warden is getting stuck onto this king here. And the minions over off on the far right. 10 seconds left. Young Hung, a very nice try on Nebrax's base, but it's not going to be enough. 2 1, and only an 84% 2 star right there. Very nice try. All right, we got Agent 33 coming in, representing from Space Station Gaming. Agent is at the very top left of your screen, and he's going to be coming in. With 10 healers. Yeti coming down at 6 o'clock with the queen. Drops his blimp over the top of the queen here. Looking to grab this town hall. Out comes the CC headhunters. Lava hound as well. Drops the healer. Oh, he drops like 7 healers on the queen. Did he not mean to drop that many? Oh, no. The town hall does go down. 
He drops all 10 on the queen. <laughs> Agent, all 10 healers on the queen. What? Okay, Agent. Oh my god. Eve Muda's base. Eve Muda's on the far right, second to the bottom. That's Eve Muda trying to defend. But Ted Healer's on to the queen, rages her up. Gonna super wall break his way into the scatter shot. But I guess he could do Coco healers for his own healers, so I guess that's okay. <laughs> He's got 10 sneaky goblins. He's gonna charge this queen in. I mean, hey, he could lose quite a bit of healers. It'd be perfectly fine. Grand Warden on ground with the Royal Champion, rages her up. All right, R Queen's in the rage. Should be able to clear the Royal Champion. Eve Muda, if you got this place trapped, it's not going to matter. You're going to have to have more than five sticking air mines to affect his Queen charge. <laughs> There's the jump with now the Warden transferring off to the Queen here. He's got five loons for this. It's a back end loons with ten sneakies. What is, what is he planted here? There's the rage spell. Onto the queen, makes her invisible. Does have the Grand Warden hanging onto her ability. The Royal Champion looking to clear the top side. Now she's got to deal with this king. The Grand Warden helping this queen is huge. Freezing up the top multi-target Inferno. Uses some sneakies up there. The queen hasn't even burned her ability yet. The Royal Champ does die off. Oh, how unfortunate Royal Champion. They're not going to be able to get that top section. But the balloons take out the Archer Tower. He does have Grand Warden ability. Too bad the Warden ability was not able to help protect the Royal Champion. He pops the Queen now. What is this Warden going to be able to do? He's got to... He can't step... Oh, the healers are, t are getting hit by the scatter. He's got a wizard. Is this basically a time fail? Queen, what are you doing? Oh, she's going to the bomb tower. Queen's going for the wall now. 35 seconds left. He's dro dropping some sneaky goblins. Is he going to be able to have get this? Takes out the storage from with the sneaky goblins, but the queen she's gonna path to the no, she passed inside, but she can't reach the scatter shot though. That's the issue. She's gonna walk on the outside for the for the archer tower. The warden, if he steps over, will get it, but he's not gonna do that. The warden IQ, he's got the warden ability, and it's gonna be a time fail from Agent Thirty Three. Their ward ability could be used, but it's not gonna matter. He uses it. And it's going to be at 98% on Eve Muda's base with the 10 healers. Oh, what a nice try right there. Oh, man. All right. Vale, good luck. He is coming in with what? Uses some lightning right there by the sweeper and takes out this top compartment. Oh, wow. He's coming with super archers. Okay, we missed a... How many lightning did he have? Well, you can kind of figure it out after he has two rage and a jump and a freeze left over. Sending this king, or the queen, straight into the king here. He's got three healers. Gonna be patient here. What can Vali get? Balloons coming down. All right. They found the Tesla farm that was on the top side. Queen's gonna make her way towards this eagle artillery. Gonna be patient here. And the queen does step in for the eagle here. There's a... What? He's got healers at his golem on... He did that on purpose. He literally dropped healers on his golem to keep the golem protected through the ground hex spell so the queen doesn't get hit by it. What, Vale? He's gonna... He's dropping more healers on his golem. It's a golem heal. What? Here comes the super archers and witches into the scatter shot. The golem does pop right there. He pop... He, does, he still has the warden ability. Queen's charging her way through. Drops a balloon to test for seeking air mines. And Kenny pushes his way through. Oh, the witch gets locked down by the scatter shot. There's the jump into the core of the base. The king's running off to the left. He still has his ability. Here comes the blimp to go for the town hall. There's the rage into the core. The super archers pops the warden ability. Out comes the CC, pushing his way into the middle. Still has his royal champion to deploy. The blimp is going to make it to the town hall. And there's a tornado trap, which is going to push his troops into the town hall. So that's perfectly okay. Sneaky goblin should be coming out. Super Archer on the outside, hunting the Wizard Tower. Here comes the Royal Champion, taking that down, forcing the Super Archers into the core of this base. The King does die off. The Royal Champion's going to step into the Town Hall Poison, unfortunately. And now the Queen does not have her ability. Royal Champ's got her ability. How much of this base is left over? That Poison spell effect from the Town Hall is... Come on!
coming in. What kind of an attack was this on Salino's base? GG, this volley is OP. He is so good. Oh my goodness, with the super archers. GG, 26 seconds. It's not gonna matter. He's got the time. And there is the three star GG to volley with a golem healer. What? All right, Nibrax, what do you have here for us? He's coming in with 20. Okay, he's got he's got a mass hybrid with some bath and invisibility spells. Mass hybrid, 23 miners, 14 hogs here. Here's the balloons blimp into the left side. There's the double multi-target inferno. He's going to be able to help take... Oh, wait. There's the invis rate. So he's going to blizz this section. Looking to take it down. There we go. Okay. Still could lock onto the multi. He's clearing some great value. Down goes the multi. Oh, the queen goes down. Not going to be able to get the king, but he got some fantastic value there. Pulls out the triple ice golem CC here. And he doesn't take out the air defense, but it's not too big of a deal. He's got the hogs and miners. He's got the archer up top at 12 with the wizard pulling the ice golems across. Three ice golems charging all the way across the base. There's the wizard. What is he going to be? Down it goes. He's got the poison spell. He's sending the king into these three ice golems so they'll get slowed down for a little bit. There's the poison spell to help take him down. Queen as well. Got about a minute 55 left in the raid here. And he doesn't have a blimp for the town hall or anything. He's already used it. The Teslas have popped off to the right side. So he's going to look to force his heroes in towards the seagull potentially. Oh no. He is not. He's going to send the hybrid from the left side about 10 o'clock here towards this enemy king. Here comes the hogs. Headhunters as well to help assist. He's saving onto the royal champion. Oh, do they out? Do the hogs outpace the warden? He pops the warden ability here for the miners. Hogs are charging away to the eagle now, looking like he wants to push his heroes into the scatter. The royal champion finally now getting deployed. He's, he's charging away from this town hall, so will he be able to push his way there? But the king does and queen don't step into the scatter shot to force the miners. Here comes the bats from the left side. He freezes up the town hall. The bats are trying to clear this section. But he freezes the town hall again. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's not able to push his way to the town hall. The heroes didn't set the funnel. The bats didn't funnel on the left side. This town hall. He doesn't have any free spells. The RC is going to go down to the single target inferno. And Yungung's base is going to hold against Nebrex. It's only going to be the one star. He took the risk. And it's not going to go down here. Sneaky Goblin on the outside. But the king and queen were not able to... I, I see his plan. The heroes to take out this right side. And the bass to take out the left to force that hybrid in towards the town hall. Oh man, Nebrex. What a nice try coming in. But hey, it's all good. They're trying to come in with some crazy attacks. And he took the risk. And that's what he tried to do. With only about 81% left. One star. But Nibrex, nice try. Yongung is going to hold right there. Well, let's see how this war is shaping out. So it's four. Oh, Ice Cold is down a star with one more attack used. Uh-oh. All right. Eve Muda is going in. Good luck. Eve Muda has got himself a queen of charge. 51 minions. 51 minions here. What? On Rainberry's base. Okay. 51 minions. What is this plan here? We got three multi-target infernos. Drops the queen down south at six. Has five healers to charge. Going to push his way into the enemy king. Where's your headhunter? He hasn't dropped it yet. Queen's running off to the right side here. There's the hen hunter. I don't know if he... I don't think he planned for the queen to run off to the side since he funneled this section already. But now the queen's saying, Hey, I'm going over here, so you're going to have to adapt on the fly. The healers are down. Oh. Oh, no. Rip. Rip to the... To the queen's path. Because I think he wanted to get her to go to the left side. Rages her up. 
Now he's going to have the Dap. They're all multi-target Inferno, so he can still charge the Queen on the right. Drops the Yetis over there as well with the Wizards. Super Wall Breaker into this multi-target Inferno. And he's charging his way in. He drops the Super Wall Break down south to use the King to help take down the Eagle Artillery. Drops that Rage. Queens. Oh no! The healers are going to die to the Eagle! Rip to the healers. They get locked on. And the multi did damage and the healers are gone. Oh, rip to that eagle. It activated and down goes the healers. He needed that charge to continue through the base. The king's ability went off. He did clear it, but not in time. Ah, oh, those healers. He had a jump spell to rely to use on the queen to continue to the scatter, to the multi to try to get as much value as possible. There's the jump for the king at this point. He realizes... He's not going to be able to use a jump anywhere else. So he uses on the king. And Viz to help take down the multi-target in front of one shot. Yes, the multi does go down. Pulls out some headhunters. Road Champ needs to get her ability off. He does. Poison spell. Because he didn't do it early, the head the Road Champ would not be able to get her ability. But here comes the balloon stone slammer into the town. Oh, into the scatter shot. But what happens if the town hall is still standing? Here comes the lot. He has a lava out, but the minions are down. The town hall. He's got two freezes. The stone slammer is going to pop here. Some balloons and an E dragon come out. He's got the freezes. Town hall. These minions are getting shredded. He's got to drop a rage. He does. There's a tornado trap. Get ready for another free spell. There it is. He's got to have the pop a warden ability to help secure this town hall. There's the rage. Warden, and there it is, the Warden ability. Imagine if this queen stayed up here. Then he could have had a Stone Slammer or something for the Town Hall, and he could have crushed this one. This could have been a very nice attack, but he had to adapt on the fly, and he was able to still save the two-star there. Eve Muda, what a nice try, but the Eagle Artillery just said no to your healers and crushed them. What a nice try. But look at that. He's still approaching close to a 90% here. What a nice recovery. Nice effort. Eve Muda is going to be falling short with the Queen at charge. Mass minion attack there. Selino is in. Good luck. What is Selino's plan? He's coming in. Five super barbs. 11 sneaky gobs. 10 hogs. A golem. Five healers. Seven loons. He's got a mix of everything in here. Selino looking to take down Exorcist base. Uses the Queen on the outside with an Ice Golem to help take down the cannon, which finds some two Teslas here. The Town Hall's in this area. Super Barbarian setting up a little bit of a funnel. Where is the Queen going to go? He's not dropping the healers just yet. The Unicorn helping keep the Queen up. She's going to help take down this air defense. AD goes down. Skeleton does pop. And down goes the storage. All right, so the queen's going to be walking. Oh, wait, he makes it invisible. So the queen's going to now go to the bottom side. Wait a second. Wait, wait, queen, what do you do? No. <laughs> no, wait a second. He activated the tornado trap, but I don't think he wanted the queen to go this way. But she can reach the town hall. I, I don't, I mean, is this not what you wanted? The queen can get the town hall. I guess you wanted something else. Maybe sneaky goblins to grab the town hall. Well, the queen's grabbing it now at this point. The king's going to be used on the left side. The town hall does go down, rages up this queen. Out comes the CC of a bunch of headhunters. He poisons them up. Is he going to use a free spell? He does have four of them. Poison's working, through, keeping the queen up through rage. Pops the king ability. Single target Inferno's locking on. Uses the free spell. King can loop his way around to help push his way into the single. Queen, what are you doing? Why are you going for that wall? Oh my goodness, Queen. What are you doing? You're throwing. There's the jump. Oh, Queen. Oh, beautiful jump placement to force the Queen in towards that multi-target Inferno. Just in time before that wall, whichever one it was, was about to go down. Here comes the blimp at the top side of 12 o'clock. It's going to pop. Oh, no. Wait. You got to pop it. Wait. Oh, that sweeper actually saved him. No joke, because if that sweeper didn't push that back, then the blip would have landed in that little compartment there. The queen's ability goes off, freezes up the scatter shot. Royal champion removing the other scatter. He's got 10 hogs and a golem still to use. The royal champion clearing this. The queen, oh no, pops the RC ability. 
The queen takes out the sweeper. Sends some hogs on the back end to help join in with the royal champion now. Some balloons over to 3 o'clock. Three more hogs to use. Oh, queen, are you going to be able to grab the scatter? It's looking the way she steps. Oh, wait, there's the warden ability. But he's only got 25 seconds left in the raid. Time is the biggest issue. He's got a freeze. Super barbarians. He's got a hog coming down. 13 seconds left. Is it going to be time? There's the free spell. 10 seconds. Can he get it? Oh, seven, six, five. And look at that. 99. And it's a three. The clutch three star. Salino does get the triple G. G. Not a time fail. What an attack. What a closing there to grab the triple. Wow, Salino. Nice job there. But now we have the final attacker, which is going to be Exosis coming in. Wow, that is a crazy hit. Salino, Exosist. what is the plan? Exosist is coming in with three E-Dragons, a Queen Charge. He's got three bats as well to use. He's got a mix of everything here, 11 balloons. Got the log launcher. Oh, he's pulling out his inner nick here. To try to get a huge log launcher charge. King is going to push his way in towards the scatter shot. Locks on to the royal champion. And the scatter goes down to help set this funnel. The queen looks like she's going to path her way to the left side at this point. He's going to log launcher through the eagle. Baby dragon setting up the funnel. Yep, he does not have any wall breakers. He does have two headhunters. All right. Unicorn is the one that's locked on by the ground expo. Rip to the unicorn. Log launcher's coming down. There's the balloon. It's going to open up this compartment, potentially. There's two headhunters actually used onto the king. Okay. Now the log launcher opens the wall, sends some balloons onto the archer tower. Now the queen loops her way back in towards the eagle artillery. Queen's coming around. She sends the Royal Champion in to help to force the Queen and to help take down that compartment since she can't reach it. Rages up the Queen of Healers. Oh, force the Queen ability, unfortunately. Out comes some balloons. A dragon. Headhunters. The balloons trying to pull some traps. Dragon as well. The Headhunters are running off to the Royal Champion, actually. There's the Poison spell to help the Royal Champion clear it. Does have the RC ability. Hanging on to the Warden. Still has seven balloons. Rages up this Queen to keep her going. Freezes up the enemy queen. Some minions are down. RC's ability goes through. Makes her invisible so she can grab the scatter shot. He still got the warden. E-dragon. Three bats and some balloons still to use. Oh my. Look at this charge here from Exosist. Here comes some E-dragons. Some balloons onto the multi-target inferno. Pulls a seeking air mine. The warden still has his ability the queen already burned her his ability rages her up to keep her going into this core here he's got a wizard why are the bats going to be used but the town hall is still standing that's the issue the queen's beating through the wall she can now lock onto the town hall freezes it up to help her take it down wait a second if she grabs this town hall he's got bats for the back end of this base he needs a queen to take it down it looks like she will e dragons are clear this bottom side here comes the bats finally exocyst the bats are going to clean it up. He's pops the ward ability. The air defense hitting the E-Dragons. It's all about time now. The storage needs to go down. The bats can clean up super fast. But they're going to get stuck on the storage. He's got 14, 13 seconds left. He's pushing his way around. And the Grand Warden was actually on ground with these E-Dragons. Seven seconds. Five, four, three. No, it's going to time fail to a 99. Oh, no. Exosis with the 99%. What a nice try right there. Oh, oh my goodness. And it's going to be 12 to 10, but he almost had it with the bats. Oh, what a nice effort there. But that was the show match right there between these 10 players. Man, what a war. You guys came in with some absolutely incredible attacks and have all you guys here on the webcam thank you guys so much and you guys really put on a show here and yes you guys took the risk it may not have so maybe a one star but hey it's okay no problem we will definitely see you guys potentially again in the future but still 
some crazy hits showing all the viewers what you guys are capable of. GG. Thank you guys so much again. Thank you. Thank you.